So it's muddy. It's nasty. It's been raining three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten days a week. It rained all the time. Water is muddy. It's high. It's cold. It can actually be a little challenging this time of year. But honestly, I have learned that it makes fishing a little bit better. I, I think it's, it's better. I'm gonna show you some of the little little things that I like to do when it's uh, when it's muddy like this, when the water is high. The reason I like it, there's only about three or four things that you have to worry about doing this time of year when it, when it gets muddy and high like this. I threw a spinner bait, I throw a crank bait, chatter bait, and I will flip, you know, Texas rig around a little bit too. Now that's basically what we're gonna do today, but I'll show you some of the specifics, uh, the baits that I'm gonna use, uh, why I like to use them. You see, I'm digging around in my spinner bait box now. I got a lot of different offerings in here from, uh, they're pretty much all gonna be Colorado bladed spinner baits that I'm gonna throw but there's a lot of different combinations. Some with painted blades, there's some with small uh, Colorado blades, there's some with big Colorado blades. And you know, it's pretty muddy. It's actually starting to settle out just a little bit. So I don't have to get too crazy with my, with my offerings or my colors just because it is starting to settle out a little bit. This is a clear water fishery. And you know, after we get a day or two of, of sunshine, it actually will kind of start to settle out pretty good. And that's pretty much where we are now. But uh, I'm throwing some half ounce and three quarter ounce spinner baits. So one thing I like about fishing muddy water, like what, what we got right now, is it really positions the fish a lot better than when, when it's you know slightly stained or or even there, you know, if it's clear. When the water's clear, those fish they can be out in the middle of the creek, they can be, you know, they can be out 20 foot, they can be just about anywhere. But when you get stained water like what I got right now. It positions those fish real shallow. They, they really got nowhere else to be. Well, maybe they can be out in the middle of the creek, but my chances of catching that fish is pretty much slim to none. But when it's, when it's muddy like what, what we got now, all your fish are basically going to be in probably, I would say no deeper than probably four foot, four or five foot. So now I just reduced the size of the lake almost in half. You know, I, don't, I don't have to worry about choosing a bunch of different baits. I don't have to worry about should I be out there drop shotting. I don't have to worry about are they on brush piles out in 25 foot of water. Really, my, my only choice to, to attack the fish, or my most efficient choice, is taking a handful of baits and hitting visual targets, which is what I love. To, I look, boy, I, mm. when you talk about fishing visual targets, things that I see, I get, I get excited. I lose sleep over that. So that's why I'm taking the sprinter bait, and you see I'm making, I'm even making short casts. I don't even want my bait to be out here in nine, 10 foot of water. There ain't gonna be no fish out there. They're gonna be laid up next to a piece of structure like that right there, like that, that little log right there. That's, that's pretty much the fish that I'm gonna be able to catch today. That's where they're gonna be. So, uh, you know, I like that. That's why I, I, right now I can go find clear water, but I intentionally ran up the creek to some fairly stained water because I knew that hey, I could put three rods on the deck and get what I need to get done on the deck. All right, so here's a little trick for your spinner baits when you're in muddy water. Obviously, dark water, muddy water, however you want to uh, say it. You know, I said the fish are going to find your bait by the vibration. We're talking about spinner bait vibration. Profile is pretty much how they're finding it. One way I bulk my bait up, I'm using a three quarter ounce spinner bait, spinner bait double Colorados. Don't really want to go to a bigger blade because it makes me slow down too much, which is not always a bad thing. But I want to bulk the bait up some more. So I'm taking uh, just a, this is an old school rubber skirt. Some of you kids watching, y'all ain't never seen these. Uh, this is an old rubber skirt. You leave this in your tackle box for in the summer, uh, it's gonna look like somebody had chewing gum in there. It'll actually melt in the summer. But I'll double up my skirts. This is the normal silicone skirt. Then I'm gonna take the uh, rubber skirt and put it on two. So now bulk, you see, I, I mean, I got a lot of booty. I mean, that's that's a big old girl right there. Uh, got a bigger profile in the water. Bigger profile, they can find it a little better. That little tail on the back of there is just gonna kick around and uh, it'll just make it easier for them to find it. So, uh, that's a trick to help you. 
There's muddy water. They gotta find the bait. Bulky bait up. Don't be don't be scared to make your baits look big in the water. Yeah. Switch areas here a little bit. Something I like to fish in the springtime of the year is anywhere you got incoming water. Reason being, think about what we just said at the beginning of this video. It's been raining three, four days a week. It literally rains three or four days a week. But the temperatures have been warm. It hasn't been cold, so you got all this fresh, warm water that's siphoning into the lake. And a lot of times what happens is anywhere you've got fresh water siphoning into the back of a pocket, that's warmer water, and food comes to that warmer water. Bass comes to that warmer water. This is my spinnerbait box right here. You can see, don't, don't, just, this is my spinnerbait box. That's all you need to know. And uh, a couple of little tricks that, that I like to use this time of the year for muddy water. I, I've got this, this particular box right here. I keep two boxes of spinnerbaits in my boat. And uh, I keep one that is basically Colorado blades like this one, which are, you know, a Colorado blade, if, for, for you guys that don't know, it may be new to fishing. Colorado blade is gonna be the round blade just like that it's gonna be more circular um, throws off a lot more water has a lot more vibration it's typically what you use in dirty water uh, willow leaf blade sprinter bait which is which is going to be this one right here you see it's willow shaped much more narrow blade um, doesn't throw off as much vibration but has more flash than than a Colorado blade sprinter bait like that one <coughs> and Typically this type of time of year, I like to throw the Colorado Blade Sprinter Bait. Couple reasons. Usually the water is cooler but rising. So, um, you know, you're gonna wanna be slower. Slower presentations, you wanna reel the bait slower. You wanna kinda talk the fish into biting. You want the bait to stay in the strike zone as long as possible. If I throw it by a tree, I want it to come by that tree for as long as I can. And a Colorado blade sprinter bait allows that bait to stay in place a lot longer. It, it throws off more water for the off co off color situation we got now. Vibration. That's how that's how fish find your bait is. They can't see it. It's just like you being in a dark room versus a room that's lit up. If I tried to tackle you in a in a room that has lights in it, I could just walk right over to you because I saw you and I would find you. If it was if it was a dark room situation. Um, I would have to hear you, or I would just have to wander around and feel for you. With that, with this Colorado bladed spinner bait throwing off a lot of more water displacement, this is how fish find your bait. So, a uh, couple little tricks that I've used over the years to help bulk my bait up, or, or to get the fish's attention, which is what we're trying to do when you're talking about muddy water. I got to get his attention. I got to ring the doorbell. I got to say, "Hey, over here, come bite. Over here, over here." We already talked about the fact that we're going to use the Colorado blades because they throw off more water. You can see on this printer bait, I've got a couple others up here, maybe one, maybe one even tied on. This one right here is also Colorado, but you'll notice a, a pretty big difference. What is it? Put it in the comment section. What's the difference between this one and that one? This one has a shiny blade or, you know, a, a um, <laughs> it's fish jumping behind me and caught my attention. Uh, this one has a gold blade. And this one has a painted white blade. The painted white blade I like to use on days like today. You see it's real cloudy. Um, you don't get flash from a shiny blade unless there's sun present. So this works a little bit better in like a mild stain water. Um, but when it's muddy, like just all get out muddy and cloudy like it is today, overcast conditions, you just get more attention. You can get their attention better with a white blade. If I were to put this in the water, you would see the difference immediately, how, how easy it is to see this blade over, over a shiny one. So you can see my, uh, my spinner blade box. It needs some, uh, it, needs, uh, it needs a little attention. I haven't really, uh, I've been digging around in it a lot for one thing when I'm fishing. If I got a box that looks like that in some kind of weird way, that's a good thing. That means I've been digging around there looking for what I need. But, you know, Plano has the new Plano Edge boxes. 
And my buddy Chris at Plano sent me a new spinnerbait box, so I can't wait to organize my spinnerbaits into my brand new spinnerbait box. If you're not familiar with the Edge series, dude, this is uh, this has been something that's made my life a lot better. I'm not that good at organizing. Like, I don't organize stuff that well. You'll see my boat is kind of junky, but I've been working on that because I think now that I actually make my living fishing, I deserve, I owe it to myself to, to become more organized and to make my day more efficient so I can get more fish caught. That's the whole point of everything I'm doing. But this is the 3700 um, Plano Edge box. A couple things about Plano Edge if you're not familiar with it. Each box is equipped with rust stricter. Rust stricter is basically, it's a chemical that's influ infused into the plastic to keep all your swivels and crankbaits and your hooks, everything that's not stainless in your box from rusting. You know in, in a, obviously it's starting to rain right now, we're, we live in a, a water environment when you're on here on, on your boat. At some point, you're going to get water in your boxes. I don't care what kind of boat you got. I don't care if you have a waterproof box. If it's raining outside and I go in here to get a sprinter bait, guess what happens? I get water in, in there. And you need something to fight that. Plano has done a really good job with that, with this Edge series, because they have two things to help alleviate that. Really, it's three things. Obviously, like I said, each box is infused with rust stricter, which is awesome because it keeps your baits from rusting also they have a water wicking um, a water wick in here that also any kind of larger moisture particles are wicked away from your baits with the water wick that's in place in each box the other thing and the third thing that they have in each Plano Edge box is perforated dividers which lets each divider breathe so you don't have moisture build up like you would in normal boxes Oh, yeah, I don't know the spinner bait there. Another guy on the spinner bait. Large mouth this time. In the back of the pocket, you can see it was a little piece of lay down back there in the back of the pocket. It went all the way to back. One thing I'm starting to notice once I came up here up river is most of the bass have pushed all the way in the backs back here. All right, nice little LMB we're gonna let go right quick. Look how nasty that water is. You can get a good look at how stained the water is up here. But they live in this stuff, trust me, they live in it. <laughs> 